Hello, welcome back to the behind the scenes vlog. So, um, yeah, while the last few behind the scenes vlogs did not contain very many aircraft models, if at all, today will be quite a bit different. What do we have here? Well, that is part of my collection, not the entire one, obviously. Um, but this is basically what I call my, well, deep storage, long time storage. These boxes are usually underneath the roof. And uh, I mean, they are accessible, but those are all the models, which I don't think I need for projects like right away. So they don't need to be as accessible as many of my other aircraft models. Now, over time, the models that I need for projects do of course change. And the last time I went through my entire collection to sort out the models that I perhaps wouldn't need as much. I think that's probably about a year ago. So since then, things have changed. So there are a few models that I am for the lookout. Uh, particularly, I'm looking for my Air New Zealand All Blacks Dreamliner S7879. Because um, since that time that I basically put the model aside, I have been getting quite a few Air New Zealand aircraft models and um, I have enough now that it would warrant a My Collection episode of Air New Zealand. Um, so I need to find that model and then there are a few other models for some other projects that I want to find. Um, so yeah, let's go through them. <laughs> okay, that was not scripted, but <laughs> I actually already found um, the very first model that I was looking for. Uh, so that was um, much easier than I thought. Okay, <laughs> I mean, that's great. Um, the only thing is, I'm not quite sure if I have more Air New Zealand models down here in the boxes or if the rest is already out. So I kind of still need to sort through all of that. So yeah, let's keep going. So um, I think we've already managed to find quite a few aircraft uh, models, if you look here. Um, I'm not quite sure about the Sri Lankan, but it is a One World Airlines. So I need to check up if they actually do fly to the US. Could be a potential aircraft for Philadelphia. Um, and then at some point I want to do a Scandinavian Airlines My Collection video. And uh, yeah, I actually forgot that I have two A340s. I actually thought I only had one. I have two, okay. Um, found another Etihad Airways model. I don't think I have done the Etihad Airways My Collection yet. So very good that I found it in time. A um, few Qantas. I found the Air New Zealand right away. A few Malaysian, China. And uh, I would also at some point like to do a Latsam, so it would just be combining, I think, all the Latsam models with the Lan Chile models and the Tam models from Brazil, because obviously those airlines kind of merged. Um, so just need to check that I didn't miss, that I didn't miss the 777 of the Brazilian airline. Doesn't look like I missed it. Okay, so it might be somewhere else or I already have taken it out. Let's see. But apart from um, getting a few models out of deep storage, I also have a few that actually are going back into it because I'm done with those models. Um, like for example, this little uh, Embraer of Finnair that I made a review of, I think last year. And um, as I'm not needing it for any other projects, that should go back. The same thing is for the uh, Monarch 757, a more recent release. Uh, no, not a more recent release, a more recent uh, review as well here on the channel. Um, or for example, the Air Greenland um, A330-200, now of course have the Neo, so um, that one can also go back into deep storage and a few others. So yeah, let's get that sorted out. 
All right, so let's open the next box and see what we can find in there. I have any other narrow bodies down here that I need anytime soon. Much of this is from my Cardiff series or models that I use for the Cardiff series. So um, it's unlikely that we're gonna find much, except maybe, of course, not so long ago, I actually did a my collection on British Airways. And uh, what I only realized a bit later was that um, I forgot three models. Um, so in the My Collection series, I tried to show you all my models from one airline. I don't use models that I have double or more, but I put them in once. But I actually forgot to add three models, um, two A320s with different liveries and then Trombolino of all the models to forget. Um, so yeah, uh, but I realized too late. The video was already published and uh, yeah. So they will have been, I mean, they have been shown in videos. So it's not like I've never shown you those models, but uh, yeah, they are just not in the My Collection video. Yeah, so I think the narrow bodies, I think, ah, here. Yeah. See, that was a set that I forgot to add to my My Collection video. And then there was another A320. Um, which I forgot to add, but yeah. Mistakes happen, mistakes happen. Just ask Herpa. <laughs> All right, so officially no more Scandinavian Airlines models in that box, but I did manage to get these two. So my old generation MD something must be in this box, I guess. All right, so let's see. Oh, <laughs> we're in luck. <laughs> That's the model I'm looking for now. <laughs> but let's see what else is inside this box. Quite a few models that I've taken out of deep storage. Just a few more here. <laughs> um, yeah, that, it's likely that there are a few of those that will go back into deep storage, especially the Sri Lankan. I'm not sure about if that matches anywhere, but I'll have to check where they actually are flying nowadays. And I also want to extend a, a huge thanks to all of you guys who actually gave me feedback on my last vlog. It was very, very useful to hear from you guys how we should proceed in the future. So thank you so much for everyone who's taken the time to write comments, send me messages, um, giving me your perspectives of um, yeah, how we should proceed with all this. Um, super, super useful, as I say, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. So thanks so much for that. It's awesome to have you guys um, yeah, as a sparring partner. So I can basically um, air out my thoughts here in these vlogs and then get your feedback as to how we should proceed with the channel but uh, yeah lots of stuff coming up lots of stuff that's coming up that is not airport update related but airport updates will also come but i will try to talk a little bit less about them for some reasons one i don't want to spoil things i've taken your feedback so i will try to make videos around that but i will then release them later the other thing is that I'm kind of bouncing ideas here with you guys and talking about where I am right now. But when I, for example, talk about airport updates, um, I, I realize it could give the impression that like there is an airport update just around the corner, um, which it isn't. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that I won't be able to record new episodes fairly soon. Uh, in theory, I could potentially start tomorrow, um, but 
um, yeah, I don't want to give wrong impressions that something is coming right now when it isn't. Yeah, I like doing these behind the scenes vlogs because as I say, it gives me the opportunity to bounce ideas, to let you know where I am in the thought process, but it can also give a wrong impression of when things are coming, how fast they're coming. Um, so yeah, in order to reduce that and to not spoil anything ahead, I will talk less about airport updates in the future, but that will then come later. I hope this all makes sense. And in any case, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, quite different, I guess. I have never really shown my long time storage, um, but now I have. Um, so yeah, um, and hopefully more videos like this will come in the future. But in any case, please, do leave a like, that would very much help out the channel. And if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, see you in another video very soon here on the channel. I'm checking out and bye.